Hello and welcome you all in the Python web app development series. Uh, here we will develop Python web apps or Python websites using the Django framework. So today we will discuss that what are the necessary softwares required for the Python web app development using Django framework. So first of all, we will need to download the uh, Python. So we will need the latest version of the Python and then we will be needing the framework that is the Django framework. So we will download and install latest version of the Django. Then we will need one IDE. So where we can work on our project and we can code and we can integrate everything. So uh, in case of the IDE, I am choosing PyCharm because I feel that PyCharm is one of the best uh, IDE to work with Django and Python. So here I am using a uh, PyCharm and then uh, for the database, we will be using MySQL database. So these are the four basic and necessary softwares required for the Python web app development using Django. So let us start with the uh, latest Python version installation. Uh, for that, we will go to the Google and uh, Google search engine and we will type in the Google search engine Python latest version download. So we'll go for the Python latest version download and you can see in the results we have this uh, official website www.python.org and remember we should always download softwares from their official websites. So I'll click on this uh, python.org download section and here we can see the latest version of the python is 3.10.5 so we need to download this latest version of the python so i'll click on this download python uh, button uh, and you can see this exe is being downloaded and now i'll click on this exe to run the setup and will install the latest version of the python which is currently 3.10.5 10.5. So now I'll click on this exe and you can see this is the uh, installation. So we can see this is install python 3.10.5 for the 64 bit systems. So you have to make sure that uh, your uh, operating system is 64 bit operating system. And now I'll, I'll click on this install launchers for all users and then I'll also click on this checkbox add python to path so these two steps are necessary i'll not customize the installation i'll use the uh, default installation so i can see that the default installation path in my system is c users and then this is the username then app data local programs and python so this is my installation path uh, we can change this installation path also through the custom installation but I'm keeping the path as I'm uh, happy with this path. So, and remember to check these two boxes, install launcher and to add Python to the path. So now we'll click on this install now button. This will install the Python in our system. And you can see uh, the standard library, test suit, uh, the utility, support, TK support, and you can see the pip PIP uh, has been installed, which is very important. Uh, then, and you can see it will be completed very soon. You can see setup is completed. So now the Python is installed in our system. Now we need to check actually whether it is in our system or not. Uh, for that, we have uh, many ways. Let me show you. I can simply go to my uh, programs and I can type Python. And you can see I have this Python app now, uh, 3.10 uh, version. So this is one way. The other way we can check this with the help of the command line. So I'll open the command line. Always remember uh, for developers, it is always a good practice to open command prompt as administrator. So I'll open this as administrator. I can also right click here and run it as administrator. So I'll run it as administrator and I'll type Python. And I'll type uh, Python version. 
and click hit on enter enter key and you can see so this is showing python version 3.10.5 which means the python is successfully installed in our system in the next lesson we will learn how to install the latest version of the django